hi welcome back to my channel it's just me cheryl and i'm back with another studio vlog i'm still going i'm still going strong and i feel really proud of myself that i'm like continuing to do this because normally i would have given up by now it's actually wednesday today again i haven't filmed this week i'm so bad i have been doing stuff but i just haven't been filming I honest i've been in a little mood with myself i'm always in a mood with myself actually i've come to realize since doing these vlogs that i'm quite grumpy with myself like it's really bad as you can see i'm totally matching t-shirts terrific but i've got my toadstools these ah the what easy to make but they're a bit of a pain to make don't know if i said last week and i can't really remember um what i was talking about in the vlog but i wanted to make some toadstools and on the toadstools i didn't want to use paint for the white dots because what you basically have to do is if you use some sort of paint or like an acrylic marker pen or something like that then you need to seal it and i want to try and avoid that extra step i try to make my own like liquid clay and it was very thick and it was very gloopy it would be very nice for like frosting on a christmas tree or like frosting you know on like a little gingerbread house it would be quite good for that but painting with it was a bit of a nightmare i mixed white clay with translucent liquid clay and it made the white spots come out a little bit more translucent than i wanted i want them to be white white so i ordered like this triple pack off amazon you'll probably be able to see them there where you got i don't know which one's which but i think you got a white um these are one fluent ounce tub like 30 ml tubs you got a white you got a black and you got a translucent so i already had the translucent but it'll you know it's not it's not the end of the world normally they come in like pots this size um but as you can see these big ones are two fluent ounces and this is only one fluent ounce so it's a bit of a smaller pot but it's fine i got like three i got three liquid clays and i decided to paint the spots like over the top again with the white liquid clay and they come out amazing they've got like a bit of a 3d effect on them they feel a little bit like lumpy and bumpy but I really really like them I've already sought one pair which I matched with like a maple leaf stud so I think I'm going to make some more there's a couple of changes that I'm going to make though because I feel like they're a bit flat I want them more like a domed kind of effect and I've tried this once before and I wasn't massively successful with it but you can get cling film and before you use your clay cutters you put the cling film over the top of your clay and then when you put your clay cutter on it gives you more of like a domed effect so that's what I'm going to go for. Obviously using the liquid clay as a paint means that everything's just going to get baked at the same time. Yeah I'm going to make some more of these. I really really want these for myself but I can't. I need to put them online. How amazing i absolutely love them i think it's a colour i used to have my hair similar to this colour and i think that's why i'm so like attracted to them i've paired them with orange jump rings as well they're just stunning you could wear these winter or summer you know like autumn or summer they're really nice i've made them the red has like a tiny bit of glitter in from one of the previous reds that i had mixed with something really nice um, I did actually sell someone a pair of these earrings so as you would have seen in one of my last videos I made these earrings in different colours I actually put the Dalmatian print on this colour and paired it with the love heart and they look like really really nice um, so yeah they're cute you would have seen in the beginning but these are these are going out for an order
I've just packed them orders and I need to get some breakfast. It's like half one in the afternoon and I haven't actually eaten and I keep getting sidetracked. I really need to get some food. I need to take some photos of a couple of pairs of earrings and try and get them uploaded. And then I have like after school activities for the kids. So we'll see what I get done later. Hi. So I look a bit extra layered up because it's absolutely freezing here in Newcastle. Like I don't know what's happened. Yesterday afternoon for the school run started to get really cold and today is like ice cold. It's horrible. It looks really sunny outside but it's got a proper chill in the air. It's a bit chilly. Do you know what I mean? What am I doing? I've got lots of ideas going on in my head but I think I'm going to concentrate on making some toadstools. I need to make another resin mould for my Christmas trees. Um, I like to batch make my earrings when it comes to resin. Um, because I don't like doing loads of resin sessions, I like to just do like one big pour. And I feel like if I had loads and loads of Christmas tree moulds, that would satisfy me quite well. Then once the Christmas trees are made, once I've did like one big batch, then after I've stuck all the studs on the stars, it'll then just be a case of doing like a doming session where I dome all the backs of them. But I also need to do like a doming session of some love heart key rings as well to secure the bales. Probably make some other colours in the love heart key rings as well. So yeah, when I make the Christmas trees, it'll be Christmas trees, love heart key rings. And then the next session, it'll be doming everything but i think for today i'm going to concentrate on making my toadstools feeling very toadstool today you know i've got it all going on but yeah i need to make studs for toadstools i need to make like i've got you see how tiny they are i'm thinking maybe if i make like little mini mini ones on hooks because I'm getting a lot of comments of people saying that they like small earrings and everything I make is big. But I can make certain items in like a small version. As you can see, I mean that is tiny. It is like a tiny little stud. It's so cute. I might make some more of these in studs and in little hooks. Maybe make some more of the big ones. And then different top has to go with them.
hi guys so i'm gonna have to end this vlog here i'm busy editing the vlog and it just will not let me send the last couple of clips off my phone to my computer i don't know why it won't let us do it nothing really special to be honest just me talking loads of rubbish you know just i don't know reevaluating my life i guess one positive thing though because i'm actually editing this vlog and i'm here like in the future whatever you want to call it um i've actually got a 20 percent sale off it was my Etsy shop's birthday on Saturday. I will talk about this in my next vlog. But I am running a 20% sale off until Wednesday. Um, so three days for my third birthday. So if you're in the UK, unfortunately, I don't sell to anyone outside of the UK just yet because it's a bit of a minefield. But if you are in the UK, go and have a look. There's 20% off everything across the entire shop. But yeah, <laughs> thought I would just drop that in, do you know what I mean? But thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell so you're always notified when I post a video. And I'll see you in the next week's vlog. Bye.